He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will always trust. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He lead us beside the still waters. He restoreth our souls. He leads us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadows of death, we will fear no evil. For thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil, our cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He is the first and the last. He's the beginning and the end. He's the keeper of creation and the creator of all. He's the architect of the universe and the manager of all time. He always was, always is, always will be unmoved, unchanged, undefeated, and never undone. He is our God, and that's who we serve. Father, we thank you that we are alive right now in the name of Jesus, that we're seeing your word manifest in our generation. We thank you that you're God and you're God all by yourself. We thank you that you're the God of our lives right now in the name of Jesus. We ask that you strengthen us, carry us, Lord God, and when life hits us, and it will hit us, Lord, bless us to stand on your word when there's nothing else to do but stand, to stand firm on your word, on your truth truth and to believe right now in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we thank you that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Christ in us, the hope of glory, Lord God. So we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for using us. We thank you for calling us right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for being our God. We ask that you continue to help us, Lord God. Continue to bless us, to walk in your word, Lord God. You said that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and glorify you, Lord God. We shall soar like eagles in the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you right now, Lord. We ask that you keep us, that you continue to bless us right now. And as I started with Psalm 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will always trust. Surely you shall deliver us from the snare of the fowl and from the noose and pestilence. You shall cover us with your feathers and under your wings shall we trust. Your truth shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the error that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high our habitation, there shall no evil befall us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. For God shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all his ways. We shall bear us up in his hand that we do not hit our foot on the stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall we trample under feet. Because... We, because we have set our love upon the Lord, therefore he will deliver us. He will set us on high because we know his name. We shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With a long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. We serve an awesome God, an awesome God. Compassion is our only hope. The compassion, the love of the Lord, the master of our God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, so we thank you that even though we have rebelled against you in our walk with you, Lord, that you're still God and that you're still faithful even when we're not faithful. So we thank you for your faithfulness right now, for blessing us and keeping us, Lord, as that you continue to use us for your glory. And Lord, as we continue to stand, and praise you and lift our hands up, Lord God. We praise you with our bodies right now in the name of Jesus. When we're fasting, when we're praying, when we're lifting our hands, when we're on our knees, Lord God, when our hearts hurt to unbelievable pain, God, we know that you're still in control. And we thank and praise you and honor you in Jesus' name. And let this the word of our mouths and the meditations of our heart be pleasant in your sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. 
in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Jesus.